Thanks for joining us here at Functional Bliss, where Audra and Jessica will guide you through exercises and wellness techniques to help you live your best life every day. It's in the name after all, Functional Bliss. Before you do anything else, click like and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know whenever we put up a new video. To join our Blissful Gang for live Zoom classes where you can get more direct suggestions and encouragement, go to our website and sign up. Check the class description below for any equipment needs, grab your gear, and let's get started. All right, we are ready to get started with our weights class this morning, so make sure you have a little space to move around, maybe a mat for a little cushioned non-slip surface, and your weights handy. Um, if you have multiple sets, go ahead and have them all available. If you don't, you can do all of this with one set of weights or even no set of weights. So we're gonna start with feet hip width apart. Hands going side to side, turning your, your shoulders, your back, just warming up, bringing a little movement into your body. If everything feels good, start turning further, lifting your heel, bringing a little motion through your hips as well. Maybe go a little faster, maybe go a little further. Let those arms fly out nice and big and wide. Just a couple more here. And then bring everything back in and move into our side bends. Big, active, reaching side bends, really bringing some space through the side body. And then transitioning into those forward reaches, waking up the lower back and the hips a little more. As well as the shoulders, of course. Two more to each side. And then coming all the way back up. Nice big hip circles in one direction. And then go the other way. And then high knee march. Swinging the arms, still keeping the whole body active. Getting the blood pumping a little. Couple more here. And then finishing off with wrists and fingers. Wiggle the toes. Pedal out the ankles a little. Make sure everything's nice and ready. And here we go. So for our first exercise, we are gonna start with a weight in each hand. And we're actually gonna bring our feet out further than hip width. Start out a little narrow. You can always expand if you want to. So you don't wanna go like super far to the ends of your mats here. But we're just gonna do a lateral lunge to each side with a bicep curl. Nice and easy. All right, one minute on the clock. Well, now one minute on the clock. Here we go. Now, if everything's feeling good in your hips and your knees and you're like, yeah, I could definitely bring my feet out a little further, go for it. If you're like me and your knees are a little cranky, especially when they first get moving, start out a little more cautious with the first set. And then maybe on the second set, after your body's really good and raring to go, then you can add a little more depth to those. 20 seconds to go. Beautiful, you look amazing. And time, perfect. All right, up next, we have 
a tricep kickback. So you can use those same weights, go a little lighter. Feet hip width apart. You're gonna go into that little half crouch, nice straight back. Pull those elbows into your sides and you're just kicking forward and back. Here we go. If you can do that little pause at the end with that squeeze, that'll help you get a little extra work through your triceps. And of course, keep breathing. Halfway done. Beautiful, 10 seconds to go, you got this. Time. All right, from here, we are going into a press out with a calf raise. So you can hold your weight horizontal or vertical. Either way, you're just pressing it straight out from your chest coming in, doing a calf raise. I'm pressing it right back out. One minute, here we go. Now, I like the vertical hold, but it really depends on what kind of weight you have and how your shoulders track. So try it both ways, see what's more comfortable for you. Nice, looking good. Halfway there. Oh, I'm gonna switch my hand position at the halfway point so that I have one hand on top and then the other. This helps keep the muscles from getting lopsided. Almost there. time. Nice work. All right. From here, we're going to go into a bent over row. So you're going to go back to two weights. That half crouch again, just like we did for the tricep kickback. This time we're just pulling it in to our waist and then right back out. Squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top. Let's do it. Perfect. Bent knees, keeping a soft bend in the elbows, even at the extended point. Really focusing on that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Twenty seconds to go. Almost there. Time. Perfect. All right, next up, we're gonna do a Tai Chi exercise, but we're gonna do it with weights. So it's gonna be a strength training exercise. You're gonna start with your feet a little bit wider than hip width. And to do it without weights, you just reach up, bring your hands down, point them at the ground and reach down. To add the weight in, you just hold it sideways and do the same thing. Reach up, bring it to your chest, point down, and tap the ground. One minute. Here we go. Up and down. If you're wondering what Tai Chi movement this is, it's a variation of Old Man Digs in the Garden. 
sometimes also called heaven and earth. Beautiful. Twenty seconds to go. Nice big bend in the knees as you're reaching down. And remember to still keep the soft elbows as you're reaching up. Time. All right, from here, our last one is gonna be a weighted bicycle crunch. Nice and easy, you guys have done this one before. So grab whatever weights are right for you, rack them on your shoulders, and you're just gonna be twisting right across to the middle doing that bicycle crunch. Here we go. Beautiful. Really sucking that belly in as you're doing the top of your crunch. Imagine you're drawing your hip points together towards your belly button. Really help crunch everything in nicely. Over halfway there. Still breathing, of course. Almost done. Time. Oh, great job. All right. That is the end of our first set. So go grab some water and then come back to get ready for the second set. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate the second set seated. You can continue to do standing or try the seated variation. So first up, we have that lateral lunge with the bicep curl. So there's a couple ways to do this seated and I'll show both of them to you as we get started. One minute on the clock, here we go. So you can still come out and just sit down So you're basically doing the lunge version of a sit to stand. Or you can leave that part off altogether and just do the tap out. Totally up to you which one feels better in your body. Over halfway done. Beautiful, almost there. Time. Next up, we have that tricep kickback. One minute on the clock. Here we go. For the seated version, you're doing basically the same thing. You're just, you know, seated instead of standing. Elbows in tight by your sides. You may not be able to keep them quite as tight depending on the kind of chair you're sitting in. And you're still trying to do that squeeze at that kickback point. Maybe even a little three count there to really focus on those triceps. Beautiful. Pro tip here, stretch your spine out long. So like you're reaching forward across the room with the crown of your head. So you keep a nice posture and don't let your shoulders ride out. There we go, time. 
All right, up next is that press out with the calf raise. So going down to one weight here. Maybe get a heavier one, up to you. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Seated version. Pretty much exactly the same, sitting right on the edge of your chair. Nice and tall. And you're still doing that calf raise. You're just utilizing the muscle a little differently, pulling up instead of pushing through the balls of your feet like you do when you're standing. Halfway done. If you're doing the vertical hold, switch your hand grip. Perfect, 10 seconds to go. And time. Nice work. All right, from here, we're going into that bent over row. And this time, we're gonna bend over just a little further. So, not all the way to horizontal, but more on that 45 than the half crouch. One minute, here we go. Still pulling it straight into the waist, targeting the middle back versus the upper back that we do when we're pulling it up to our armpit. Now, if you're doing this in a chair, keep your legs active by pressing into your heels and lifting your toes off the ground. Beautiful, 20 seconds to go. Still breathing. I'm still squeezing between your shoulder blades. Almost there. Time. All right, coming into that heaven and earth. So go down to one weight here. Maybe a little heavier weight, up to you. And here we go. For the seated version, bring those knees out nice and wide. And then same thing, reaching up and then reaching down. Now, if you're doing the seated version, but you're like, you know, my knees could do a little more than this, maybe not the full version. You can do it as a sit to stand. So you stand up, sit down, and then do the bottom portion. Choose your own adventure here. What's gonna work best for you? Ten seconds to go. Watch out for your glasses. Sometimes they go fly. Time. All right. Next up, we have our bicycle crunch. So back to two weights. One minute on the clock. And here we go. Oh, seated version again. The same exact thing. Just seated instead of standing. And I'll be honest, I think the seated version actually gives you a better ab workout than the standing version. Because you're able to crunch in a lot more and work more of those long abdominal muscles. Over halfway there already. Feel free to add a little bop in if you like the music.
time. That is the end of set number two. Go grab some water. We still have one set to go. All right, bringing it back in. Moving back into that alternating lateral lunge with the bicep curls. Long name for a simple exercise. All right, here we go. Now, if you say, I'm feeling really good right now, I could use a little more, feel free to bring those feet out just a little wider and lunge just a little further. And if you still want a little more, work on going just side to side, never coming up in the middle. So you're staying nice and low the whole time. 20 seconds to go. Time. Ooh, all right. Up next, our tricep kickback. Seated or standing, I'm going to do a mix, but I like standing for this one. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Nice half crouch, elbows in, and kick it back. Try for that little three count. You can really squeeze. Really work the triceps. Beautiful. Pro tip here, try to tuck your tail under just a little bit. A lot of us tend to stick our tush out like we're doing a hip hinge, but if you tuck your tail under, it's actually a little more supported, easier on your lower back here. Let's focus on your arms more. Nice, 10 seconds to go. Time. Beautiful, okay, from here, that press out with the calf raise. One minute on the clock, here we go. in your chest and your back here, as well as your shoulders. And then of course your calves with calf raise. And if you keep that belly pulled in tight, you're working your core too. Halfway mark, if you're doing vertical grips, switch those hands. Still breathing. Almost there. Time. Nice work. All right, going into that bent over row. Now, again, seated or standing. I'm gonna do the seated version of this one. And again, leaning forward even just a little bit more, pulling those weights right up to your waist. Here we go. Beautiful. Now you may see me looking up because I'm checking on you guys, but good form keeps your head, neck, and back in a straight line. So you're looking kind of towards the floor in front of your feet, keeping everything nice and aligned. Beautiful. Twenty seconds to go. Mm. 
and time. Nice work. All right, up next is our heaven and earth. And I'm gonna do the sit to stand version of this one. Is it one minute on the clock? Here we go. Halfway done. Almost there. Time. Perfect. All right. Last up, we have our bicycle crunch. So grab two weights. Once again, one minute on the clock, and away we go. Now, of course, you can control how much you're working here by where you hold those weights. You want to work your upper body a little more hold them up above your shoulders if you want to really dial it into your abs you can rest them on your shoulders and work on an even bigger crunch so just pick whatever's going to feel best in your body Fifteen seconds to go. Still breathing. We're almost done. Time. Nice job. All right. That is the last of our third set. Grab some water. All we have left is our final stretch. Always make sure you take a moment to clear your space. No running into weights while you're stretching. And then bring it back in. Standing up nice and tall, adjust anything you need to adjust. And then take a deep breath, arms go up overhead. And we're just gonna fold forward, reaching down towards the floor. Letting everything hang soft for a moment. And then come up halfway and let your arms just circle gently in their sockets, massaging out the shoulder joint, and then go the other way. Soften everything back down for just a moment here. And then draw your belly button in and curl up. Roll those short shoulders forward three times. And then backwards three times. And then let everything settle. Bring your feet out just a little wider. Reach up and over for a nice big side bend. Using your other hand on your hip, on your thigh, maybe even down by your knee, wherever feels good to support you. Just not on the actual joint. And then coming back up, go to the other side. Again, nice and big. Using that other hand for support wherever feels right for you. One more moment. 
and then come all the way back up. Both arms up and overhead, folding down towards the middle with your feet out a little further this time, maybe even toe heel them out a little more, depending on what feels right for you. And then from here, walk your hands over towards one side. Breathe into that stretch. You might feel it through your inner thigh. You might feel it through your side body or down into your hip. Up to you, it just depends on where your body might be a little tight today. And then walk it back through the middle over to the other side. Holding it there for just a moment. And then walking it back into the middle. Big bend in the knees, coming all the way up. Bring those feet in, take your time. Take one arm, bring it across, lowering the shoulder down away from the chin. And then maybe tip your ear over towards one shoulder. And then while you're there, try nodding your head. Just a little bit, small motions here. See how that feels in your neck. If you're like me, you might find that you have some little knots you weren't really aware of until you started making your neck move like a neck. And bring everything back to center and release. Go to the other side. Again, lower that shoulder away from the chin. Tip the ear towards the opposite shoulder. And then if it feels good, add that little nod. Nice and gentle. And then bring everything back to center and release. One last tricep stretch, patting yourself on the back for such a good job today. Maybe draw that elbow towards the wall behind you if it feels good. And then release and go to the other side. And release. And you are all done. Fantastic job today. I will see you on Thursday.